Diamond. I am the founder and director of the Diamond Method, active myofascial therapy and active muscle massage. So today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of active muscle massage. And we are using our model Mark and he is obviously in the prone position and he is on our Prolux convertible table, which Oakworks has available, which is nice because it can adjust the height of your table so you can make sure your body mechanics are perfect. And we also have the quick clock uh, adjustable face cradle. And you can probably see that I've got him in a pretty uh, steep angle here. Now Mark's a big guy and the reason I have his face cradle dropped as low as I do is because I want his neck in a straight position. You might notice if you have your face cradle too high, the client is actually an extension. And you can tell by um, when you see a crease here. So what I like to do is have the client get in this position and oftentimes they'll look at it and go, oh my gosh, that's too far dropped, can you raise it up? And so I always encourage them to try it. Just give it a try, see how they feel. If it's uncomfortable, obviously you're going to adjust it. But right now, I'm gonna have Mark stay here. I put my fingers right on the base of his head and I suggest you do the same thing. And then I say to, to your client, Mark, would you slide your body down towards your feet just a little bit? There you go. And I usually do this before I put the bolster there. But what that does is that immediately gives him some traction in his spine, all the way from his pelvis to his head. By just scooching down a little bit, it elongates, it creates a little bit more space between the vertebra. And for most people, it feels really good. Now, obviously, again, you're going to listen to your clients and, and adjust what you need to adjust. But so I have him dropped down just a little bit. That opens up his cervical spine which is where I'm going to be focusing on for this active muscle massage technique. Now, the difference between active myofascial therapy and active muscle massage, active myofascial therapy is specifically if somebody comes in with severe or chronic pain or some sort of dysfunction that you're trying to address. Active muscle massage is for your average uh, therapy practice for deep tissue, for good relaxation, for taking care of basic aches and pains and sports injuries and things like that that are not acute or severe. So this can be incorporated really nicely into your massage practice that you're already doing. And again, the, the client is active. So what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of lotion. We are predominantly working, ooh, that was a lot. We are predominantly working with the muscles and the fascia. And so um, if you use too much lotion or oil, then you're going to be sliding over the superficial tissue and you want to be able to get really in. It's going to be cold. Mark, you ready? Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to just get him a little bit warmed up. And the basic massage that you've already done for years, probably. And then what we do is we have the client activate the area even before you go in and do any deeper work. So what I'm going to have you do, Mark, you were mentioning your right side is the side that was giving you some problems. And for, um, for the record, it's probably his levator scapula, as we know, which jacks up the shoulder and it attaches up into the upper cervical spine. So what I'm going to do is really get down low. And with both shoulders, would you please keep bend your elbows a little bit? and then keep your hands right where they are. Just bring your shoulders to your ears. No, not your head, your shoulders. Squeeze them to your ears. There you go. And now squeeze them back. Now he's never done this before, so squeeze your shoulders to your ears, pinch them back. <laughs> head stays down. Shoulders to your ears, pinch them back. Shoulders back. There you go. And then push them down to your feet. Yes, perfect. Do that again. Shoulders to your ears, squeeze them back, and then press them down. Now he's got it. Perfect. So he's activating the muscles. He's engaging. He's contracting. And then relax. Good. So that starts the, the release of the tissue contraction. Now I'm going to get right in here. I use the forearm. I'm going to sink in really low. Watch my body mechanics. Now mark with your right shoulder. Just give me a partial push into my pressure. Perfect. And then slowly let it go. And then I slide off the edge right, lightening up over this, the uh, superior medial border of the scapula. Do that again. Press to my pressure and then slowly release. And I'm giving him fairly good pressure, but I'm not 
going past that rate of perceived comfort, which is a seven or an eight. So I'm gonna just slowly work down. Do that again, just a partial push and release. Good. And now I'm gonna change arms. I'm gonna get in here. Keep this hand right where it is. Don't move your hand, but press your shoulder to your ear all the way now, just this right shoulder. Notice the elbow always wants to come up. Let that drop. Now bring that shoulder down towards your feet. And notice, again, active muscle massage. I'm following his shoulder movement as I'm running down the erectors. And I can go as far as I want to go at this point. Good, and relax that. So again, what I did is I just dropped right into the attachments. I'm getting, obviously, the upper traps as well. And he was active, so he was contracting the muscle fibers and then releasing them, contracting and releasing them against my pressure. I'm just gently dro dropping in as he engages a partial push, not all his strength. He's a lot stronger than I am. He'd be able to knock me on, off on, onto my tush, so I'm not going to have him do full contraction. Just a partial push. So we'll do that one more time just for the demonstration. So elbow stays down, press your shoulder right into mine, yep, and then release slowly and then just let it go, and I just follow it out. And the reason I have his elbow bent is that gives him more range of motion with his shoulder. If his arm was straight down by his side, it would be a little more uncomfortable for him and awkward for him to be able to move his arm. So that's a little taste of active muscle massage for the upper shoulders and uh, upper back. And if you liked this, go to thediamondmethod.com. Sign up there, get on our e-zine list. I do, uh, weekly tips and strategies for building your practice. And then, of course, I'd love to see you in one of my seminars. So Irene Diamond signing off. Mm -hmm.